front side of the golf course which we are cutting through got to go all the way up to the top of that hill and then make our way over to Sandy but I noticed this sign Adam the woo <laughs> Creepers. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you are tuning in and creeping with. You knew that you know I appreciate it tremendously. We are here currently in Northeast Portland. Right behind me sits the Rose City Golf Course. We just trek through on the Creeper Cruiser. You can actually kind of just cut through the golf course, which is always pretty with all the trees. And it's always quiet, so I thought this would be a great place to do the intro. Today we're heading over to Sandy Boulevard for a re-creep, if you will, the Sandy Jug, an iconic piece of Portland. Wait till you see this place. It's back. It's changed hands a couple times, kind of switched up. It's been a few years since we've been there. I'm excited for this one. It's definitely an iconic and very odd, unique building. Stay tuned. We're doing some creeping. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I'm excited. I love weird buildings and oddities, so it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, just up here on top of the golf course here. A couple of people out golfing. We are on 74th now, but we gotta head up to Sandy, Sandy Boulevard because here's Annie's Donuts, which we did a video on just recently. Another staple of a restaurant here off Sandy. And we got to go up to 74th, so I think we're yeah, 72nd now. So we're getting close. This is Fremont, but when you cut over past this old pharmacy here, Farley's, it turns into back into Sandy, so it kind of meets right here at the intersection. All right, we had a green light, but I'm gonna go around this way and cut back around. I wanted to see this uh, mural here on, to, on this old pharmacy. All right, we just made it here. A few blocks up more on Sandy. You got the Creeper Cruiser locked up here to this pole. I'm noticing all these really cool murals here on this cannabis shop. But we're gonna walk up just a few feet here check out the sandy jug wow wow i'm speechless that is incredibly beautiful they completely they completely redid it Got the, kept the old windows, got the rose there because this is the Roseway District. Got the top all painted. So this was originally a gas station soda fountain shop. I'll insert some old timey pictures. We, uh, we were here about maybe three years ago and the building did not look anything like it is now. It's all refurbished. It was basically all red. Just kind of kind of ugly it was actually a strip club but we're gonna creep over here and get a better look the sandy jug welcome back yeah it says right there on the sign since 1929 how incredibly awesome wow they even refurbished and kind of kept the old not the original sign but the same looks to the one that was here for many years probably since the 50s and these were an old bottle caps. I think this was originally called the Orange Blossom or maybe the, the Blossom Tiger. It was basically a gas station. So you would pull in right here and the pumps were kind of like out front. And then, like I said, it switched hands years later, turning into a strip club called, I believe the Pirate's Cove. And I think that's what it was when we toured here. But nonetheless, look how incredible that looks. Yeah, originally a gas station, then turned to a soda fountain shop. I'll, I found some really cool pictures of kind of the progression. Then I'll insert the pictures of when we were here last. But that is 
That is phenomenal. Brand new walk path. None of this was here last time. Wow. I love that they kept kind of like the old uh, stained glass windows too. I'm gonna get a big look at this uh, rose up here. Yeah, those were originally Coca-Cola bottle caps. I think Coca-Cola or maybe, maybe some beer company. Giant bottle caps at one point. This is the original cocktail sign too. And the door and all the glass, even the original handle. Wow, dude. Spectacular job. I think last time the outdoor seating was like back here and now it's kind of changed and is in the front area. But that is, that is pretty wild, man. They really did a great job on that. And I'm glad that they kept, you know, some relics of the old place with the cocktail sign, the windows. I don't think they're open at the moment or I'd definitely try and peek the camera in, but nonetheless, this is all brand, brand spanking new. Welcome back. Wow. Yeah, I love this old timey glass. Yeah, I don't think they open till like maybe three o'clock or so, but absolutely spectacular. Originally built in the late 20s, it's had many lives. Its original name was called the Gusher, a filling station, like I said, that offered refreshments for patrons. And then it also turned into the Orange Blossom. So I thought it was the Tiger Blossom, but it's actually called the Orange Blossom. And then years later, turning into the Pirate's Cove uh, strip club. So pretty dang neat to see that. It's still here. I'm gonna kind of peek the camera back here real quick and just get a look at like the old lights and new patio. Pretty dang awesome. Yeah, this place needs to go on the historical uh, landmark, so it may also it may be, but if it's not, it definitely needs to be. You know, in the late 20s, people would pull up, get some refreshments. Years later, 2024, can still pull up, get some refreshments, and look at the history of the building. I'll see if I can find some pictures of the inside. Unfortunately, they're closed. They're not open till three o'clock. So we're definitely gonna have to come back here sometime and grab a hamburger or something and see if we might be able to get a better look at the place. But man, how cool is that? I mean, literally like all these years later to have an iconic building still standing here, it's just amazing. In fact, Sandy Boulevard was a lot of commuters ways to downtown. And there was a lot of giant things, including a milk bottle, a giant shoe, a giant jug, and a couple other Kind of weird roadside oddities that really helped formed you know sandy boulevard back in the day of a unique you know of unique places to stop and grab a drink or even get gas pretty dang cool man it's like here's the original sign though on this side but yeah you can even see if like from this side how much that bottle sticks up you can kind of see it all the way from pretty far down Sandy so Sandy Boulevard was known to have you know a ton of these roadside buildings all along here to kind of attract attract people in yeah I absolutely love when places are saved and fixed up and this thing definitely had seen better days the last time we were here so so cool to see it all back and I can only imagine what the inside looks like it's probably absolutely gorgeous all right that's gonna do it from the sandy jug right here on 40s what is it 74th Northeast Sandy Boulevard Portland Oregon pretty dang awesome Somebody was just honking at me. <laughs> Love you guys. Creeper out for now. Peace. That 
that's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll dial you into being a creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace.